Hi everyone, this is Paula. I am here to share my next journal with you. Um, this one is a clasp envelope, a 9x12 again, and I used um, the Tales of You and Me. I only had one piece, so I used that on the front, and I um, used the Tim Holtz Distressed Claws Medium Vintage uh, over it, and I used the Tim Holtz um, plate right here, and just backed it with cheesecloth and some, um, look at that, <laughs> I haven't been journaling or anything, right? And I used um, some, uh, what is that stuff, glossy accents in the middle over the style, and put cheesecloth, some muslin behind it, and some eyelash trim. I glossy accented on the flowers, sewed all around the um, envelope. I'm getting some of this ink off my hands. It's pretty bad. Okay. I glossy accented some of the flowers. I love this paper, so I didn't really want to cover too much. And I just put some um, lace and the rosettes on the spine. And I left the back as well because I just thought it looked really cool and vintage-y looking. See how that kind of looks yellowish in there? I like that. Eyelets for the closure. And I inked it all with a um, vintage photo. And it's just one signature. One fatty one. And seam binding for the closure. And on the inside... I um, used some of um, some what is this trim lace fabric I don't know but I super love it and I want to say her name is Marion that gifted that to me all that lace oh my goodness it was a gorgeous and one of my sister's little flowers with some fibers underneath it just made a pocket and this paper, I'm sure y'all know where that's from by now. It's from the, um, let me get the paper pack. Oh, trying to stretch from this one. I used a little bit of that in here. And, um, I didn't collage podge over this because I didn't think it really needed it. And I used dreams etc in here love these big old tags super love them they're gorgeous i used um tsunami rose in here i will link everybody below that i've used all their etsy shops this is just an extra piece of paper the story begins i got that stamp as you know from crafty arena and i love it and and one of my little tags i made just stuck that in there and I got this image off of Google and I just made a pocket out of her I thought that was super cool I love all the colors and everything and I just made a pocket and tsunami rose and one of my tags just tuck that behind her this is another fatty one I don't know why I I tried to make it not so fatty, but it just ends up that way. Lots of writing space, and I did use my little lines this time. And I did some stamping, sprayed my papers, everything's coffee dyed. This is Sunny Rose. I made a little altered paper clip. With some fibers. And I just made a tuck out of this. And... I did say Ephemera's Vintage Garden, right? And I think there's already maize in here as well. This is just an extra piece of paper. I thought it was cute with that pin on it. And this is extra paper as well out of that tablet. And I just tucked all that in there. And some little bags. This is just a wine label I had that I cut out for journaling. Isn't this pretty? Love this kit. 
I used a bunch of different kits in here, so it's just like not one kit. It's just a bunch of them that I had this and that left over, so I used them all in this the little tabbies. And just a journaling card, Konami Rose, and I made these, this card. But I will definitely link everybody below for all these beautiful kits that are in here. And I just used some coffee filters and some doilies. This is just extra journaling. I shrink it down. I love that image too. Um, this is all dollar store lace in here. Again. very talkative today sorry <laughs> well I guess there is a little bit of Hobby Lobby lace in here too another bag and I put this gorgeous little pocket in there some Femme's Vintage Garden I believe and this gorgeous image is Tsunami Rose and it's just a journaling card I didn't want to glue her on there, so this could be written on. Big bingo card. And a couple extra little family cards. And this one too. So pretty. I just love all this. I love these colors and these. And one of my big old tags. And I just stamped this stamp whoops i i never take it apart i just kind of like fold it over put it on my ink pad and put them on but yeah i really like these ones i think i got these ones from bonnie and that big old stamp pack she gave me super love these and i just used the one side on there and these are little journaling tags tucked in there and the little glassing bag has this homemade tag in there. Just some little layering. This is Tsunami Rose's um, paper. And then there's Vintage Garden. Here I just made a belly band and there's book page under there and then this is just pattern paper and muslin and then this image I got off of and internet or Pinterest or somewhere. That gorgeous card. And then these two. And doily and um, beach, beet dyed um, coffee filter that Ronnie gave me. And over here I just made a pocket. These gorgeous dreams, etc., and Tsunami Rose. And then there's Vintage Garden. This is just one of those documents. Whoops, glued it. And then I just tucked that in there to keep it closed. But I just don't like covering up things because they're so cute. I'm <laughs> so funny. Okay, and this one, gorgeous. Love those. This is just a little envelope, and I just used one side as a tuck and the other as a flip. And I just glued her down and put this trim on there, and then put these two inside. Aren't those pretty? Oh my goodness. Brilliant colors. Love them. And on the inside, you can take these off if you want to, if they get in your way. Whoops. There's just a little look at my hands. Good lord. <laughs> There's a key and some little trinkets hanging off there. I'm embarrassed. But you all know where that comes from because you guys do it too, right? So don't feel alone. Guess I better go do the dishes again. And here I just made little flip up, Rita Donnelly flip ups. And I put these little banners on the inside of it like my niece does. 
of these two gorgeous images. And on the same side, the same thing. Oopsie. And I just layered that on book page and then the pattern paper also and sewed around it. Did some little layering with Smelly Rose flowers. I love this image too. And this is just some extra paper. Instead of making a tag, I just left it for journaling. I forget how many to count how many pages and tell you guys how many pages are in this, but yeah, there's a lot. <laughs> I should probably start making two signatures, but I don't like sewing them in such a pain in the rump. So I just sew in one big fat one. And it works for me. Okay. It's easier for me. My hands don't get all weird on me. Mommy Rose, and I just tucked this in there. Love that. This image. And this tag. I love this image. I love it all. I can't just say I love one thing more than the other because I don't. I just love it so much. I just, um, this is an envelope, and I just made a pocket out of this um, lace that I was gifted. Love it. On the inside, I just folded it over. And this one in there. This one. And this one. And on this side, the same thing. Only this ephemera. Little tag, bottom tag, I made. And then I just glued the envelope onto the page. And left that flip out and then this tucks behind it like so and just a doily a little bag Some tags in there and over here i just made a little tuck spot out of that to cover up my stamp that went through and put these in there. Love those. I hate it when my stamp goes all the way through, but you know, sometimes that happens, I guess. Made another little tuck here, banner tuck, and I put these two little ladies. Just tucked them under there. And just made a envelope out of some extra paper for journaling. And this, I just made a little tuck spot out of this onto the coffee filter. And put this tag inside with the perfume bottle. And this one. And over here, I just glued down a bunch of um, trims that I had cut off. And I just layered this on there and then the butterfly. And put these tags behind it. Stamping. A little envelope. I just glued the butterfly down and put this little tag inside. And inside it, I have dreams, etc., and some rows. Maybe. Just put some trim on this side. And this is one of those little bags that I did up. Um, just collage podged a napkin onto it. And this one is. And this is just a big old tag I made. Just behind it. And um, a repair tag. And then this one. I put inside the bag. And over here, I just have this piece of paper laying here that was just ripped. So I used it as a belly band. And I'm like, perfect. It fit in there perfectly, too. I was amazed. 
I just sewed all around it to make sure it was stiff so it doesn't rip with double paper. And just did some layering on it for this one. I couldn't believe it actually fit perfect in there. And I just cut those ones off for corners and then just used that as a belly pad. Artsy Maze envelope. And then these two tags are just tucked right in there. And that is the back. Another pocket back here full of goodies. And this big old beautiful tag. I love all this trim. And this beautiful tag. This is Tsunami Rose. And this one. And this one is up to me, I believe. With the journaling inside. That's left handed, I can't do that. I have to do it this way. Uh oh, phone's going crazy. I love that, it's so pretty. I'll just put that in there. And yeah, that is my latest. This one is for sale, so if you're interested, I'll link my. Um, sorry about all that noise. My phone goes off, so is my iPad the same time um this one is for sale and i will link um my facebook below and if you're interested you can contact me through there or on my bloom and sticks page and i will link everybody's um, etsy shops that i got everything from below and thank you so much for watching and subbing to my channel i appreciate it so much and i will talk to you soon Thank you so much. Bye-bye.